So recently I was watching this Ryan Trahan video where he went to every drive through in his city to try finding the most expensive item and it inspired me to do the same thing except instead of the most expensive to find the cheapest because I'm poor and also inflation. Yeah. So just like the short king of YouTube himself, I'll be visiting every drive through in my city to find the cheapest item starting with White Castle. I should get in the car we we should do the drive through now the rules for this challenge are simple rule number one just like ryan's video it has to be a single item rule number two if i'm asked i cannot disclose what the current record is of the cheapest item rule number three i have to use the drive through only if the location doesn't have an active drive through then that location is just simply disqualified hi so i'm doing this competition between like all the fast food restaurants in town to try seeing what i could get that's the cheapest item on the menu and i was wondering like Whatever you guys have that's the cheapest, uh, I just want that item. Okay, All right, thank you. Hello. You got it. Thank you. Okay, so I have no clue what we're getting, but it's probably good. Uh, thank you, you too. First location, we spent a dollar forty-eight, and I don't even know. Oh yeah, no, you're good. For a split second, I thought I was about to get in trouble, and I realized it was two dudes who just wanted to get a photo in front of White Castle, so I took a photo for them. That should be That's a perfect. sick Thank photo. You so much. Awesome. Yeah, of course. You're welcome. Now let's see what we got in the bag. Gooey butter cake on a stick. And there's two? Tastes really good, but also really sugary and processed. That being said, it's time for Starbucks. And it's cold outside, so hopefully they give me a coffee or something. They say Starbucks is America's most expensive coffee place, but today we make it the cheapest. Hello. Hi. At this moment, I was not expecting what was about to happen next. I just watched this video. It was like the most expensive. With Ryan Trant. Yeah, 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 that's where this idea came really? from. Yeah. I just watched that like the other day. So what I got cost 85 cents. It's a grande cup of water with one strawberry inclusion. I'm not a fan of strawberries, but let's see how it tastes. It tastes like water with strawberries. Guys, I forgot to mention, but the place that has the cheapest item by the end of this video will get a trophy that I made with the 3D printer. Okay, maybe I actually don't know how to use the 3D printer and had to go to the dollar store because the 3D printer kept messing up. Anyways, the next location is Taco Bell, everybody's favorite place. I, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go to the drive-thru. Okay, so what's the damage? How much do I owe you? Yeah, anything. Which one would you like? Uh, uh surprise. Did we have the cheapest item? I can't tell you guys. It's part of the rule. But the winner gets a trophy. Yeah. Ready for the power of like movie magic editing? You know, nothing's on this table except three, two, one. And now we got that and a car. So this right here is a slushy. And apparently, according to this, is it a winner? I don't know yet. You guys tell me. Cost a dollar seven. I don't think they're gonna win because Starbucks, you know, is in the lead. But let's taste it and see if it tastes good. It just tastes really good, though. So, anyways, Burger King. BK, have it your way. Da 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 da. Oh wait, that. Anyways, we're gonna get some Burger King. Thank you. Have a nice one. Thank you. They said this costs a dollar seventy. I have no clue what's in the bag, so. Let's see, what did we get? Oh, we got a four piece. Would you like a nugget? There you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed the nugget that I shared with you guys. I'm gonna be completely honest, for $1.70, these nuggets aren't bad at all. But what is bad is Chipotle. I had to actually disqualify them because their drive through here, walk, walk with me as I talk, their drive through isn't your typical normal drive through. And that's because I almost hit myself on there. But. There's no menu to order from. You have to actually use the mobile app or whatever to make your order. And that, I'm just too lazy. I'd much rather have them tell me what the cheapest item is, to be honest. So um, I disqualify them. But these nuggets are good. If you want to know else is good, our next place, which is Wendy's. Pretty sure like America's favorite fast food chain. I could be wrong, but I think that's what the internet says. And I was wondering uh, if you guys can like sell me your cheapest item. They're probably like, yo, that's the strangest order ever. Guys, you're not gonna believe it, but we have a new leader and it's Wendy's for 53 cents. 
So what can you get at Wendy's for 53 cents? Is this cheese sauce? What are they saying? Like I'm cheesy or whatever? Oh my God, it's so hot. I'm not going to eat this though. It kind of looks gross. But hey, Wendy's, congrats. You're in the lead with 53 cents. I'm going to be completely honest with all of you. I don't know what I'm going to do with the thing of cheese from Wendy's here. That's 53 cents. So I'm going to throw this out. And with that being said, I'll see you at McDonald's. Ba -da 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 -da. I'm loving it said every single American who loves McDonald's, because this is actually America's favorite fast food place. Definitely isn't mine though, because I don't eat fast food, except once a week now for my cheat meal. The real question is though, will McDonald's or our last location beat Wendy's? Because them 53 cents, that's gonna be hard to beat. Hello, you got it. Well guys, we got it, McCoffee. I actually don't know if that's the actual name for it, but it sounds pretty cool. But you're probably wondering, is it gonna beat Wendy's with the staggering 53 cents for the cheese sauce? The answer is no. This coffee costs a dollar seven. But if you're wondering how it tastes, hot, that was hot. And it tastes like black coffee with nothing in it. So there you guys go. With that being said, let's go to our last location, which is love that chicken from Popeyes. Yeah, that's right. Our last stop, Popeyes. It's actually kind of bittersweet that we're here at our final location. Looking at the notes so far, White Castle was $1.48. Starbucks was 85 cents. Taco Bell was $1.07. Burger King was $1.70. Wendy's with the lead currently, 53 cents. McDonald's, $1.07. So with that being said, what does Popeyes have to offer? and can it beat Wendy's? Going around to every fast food place to see which place has the cheapest item on their menu and buying that. Uh, I was wondering if I could buy whatever the cheapest item on your menu is. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all, just that one item. All right, you can come around. You got it, here you go. With the final item now in my very hands, will Wendy's be victorious or will we get a surprise from Popeyes? The verdict is in with order number, and I, I am not kidding you guys, order number 666, Literally here, I'll show you guys that. Order number 666, we have one jalapeno. And you might be wondering, how much does one jalapeno from Popeyes cost? I was wondering the same thing. Here it is, it's literally in a bag. All right, let's try this. Woo! That's really hot. How much did one single jalapeno from Popeye's cost? And the answer is a staggering 37 cents. That's right, we have a new winner. Popeye's, Popeye's wins. And since Popeye's won with the cheapest item, I think it's only fitting to give them the cheapest trophy ever from the dollar store. Come on. Believe it or not, you guys actually win the cheapest trophy because you guys have the cheapest item out of all the fast food places in town. So, so you guys get this little trophy. <laughs> you guys win, you guys win that trophy right there. You're welcome. You're welcome. With the cheapest item found and the cheapest trophy given out to the winners, it was time for me to disappear back yet again into the darkness of the night sky. Until next time, it's been your friend, Emily Saxon. Also, YouTube thinks you might like this video, so click the screen to go watch it right now. Okay, bye.